Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. Gyeonggi Province has announced plans to expand the current Interpretation Supporters Program this year for foreign residents who experience difficulties communicating in Korean. This program involves the appointment of interpretation supporters who are fluent in Korean, such as immigrant spouses. Those appointed work at institutions, including public organizations, hospitals, and banks, to provide foreign visitors with customized one-on-one -on -one interpretation services. The province plans to recruit 50 interpretation supporters and will operate the program in 11 cities and counties, offering support in more than 18 languages. The Cactus and Succulent Plant Research Center of the Kyunggi Agricultural Research and Extension Services recently announced the development of new grafting cactus breeds for export. These breeds include Red Tops, one of Kyunggi's representative cactus types, which are currently being exported to more than 20 nations, accounting for the majority of national cactus exports. Korean cactus exports amounted to 4.3 million U.S. dollars last year, with exports continuing to grow despite the pandemic. The outlook for exports this year is also very positive. According to a recent study, chili leaves contain more antioxidants that help control inflammation and restore immunity than those of other vegetables such as parsley or celery. The Gyeonggi Province Institute of Health and Environment examined the levels of antioxidants, primarily apigenin and lutein, found in 27 vegetables widely available in the province last year. Apigenin was found in eight vegetables, including pimpinella, mugwort, and sesame leaves, while lutein was found in 11 vegetables, including red lettuce and crown daisy. A shop featuring goods produced by social enterprises including senior, preliminary, and self-supported enterprises, has opened in the Shihung Dream Store, a cooperative community retail establishment operated by Gyeonggi Province and Shihung City. Known as the Chak 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 Brand Store, this shop will also open an online shopping mall on June 28th. On June 2nd, the Gyeonggi Welfare Foundation, the National Institute of Special Education, and the Gyeonggi Province Institute for Lifelong Learning signed an agreement to cooperate in the promotion of lifelong education for individuals with developmental disorders. According to this agreement, the three parties will jointly engage in related activities, including education program development and dissemination, as well as personnel training. Gyeonggi Province expects that such cooperative efforts will also have a significant and positive impact on the trial education programs that the province plans to operate from this year until 2023. Gyeonggi Province recently announced plans to invite Riverside Project Development applications from the 31 cities and counties of the province for the creation of popular destinations utilizing these areas. Project applications, which will undergo a selection process in August, will be received in three categories – urban and cultural development, leisure and sports development, and tourism and balanced development. The province will allocate a total of 120 billion Korean won for the implementation of these projects, which are slated to commence in 2022. In order to help revive college cultural activities that have been suppressed due to the pandemic, Gyeonggi Province hosted the Gyeonggi College Esports Games. Organized in the form of college team matches for a total prize of 13 million Korean won, this esports event ended on June 5th. Video clips of the highlights from these matches can be viewed on the YouTube channel of the Gyeonggi Contents Agency. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.